Hello, my name is Brittany Policastro, and welcome to Wellness on the Waterfront, presented by Independent Blue Cross in conjunction with Delaware River Waterfront Corporation and Studio 34. Today's practice, we're going to begin in child's pose. First, you want to make sure you have some support for your practice. If you have two yoga blocks, you'll grab them. If you don't, something that's like yoga blocks. Uh, two water glasses turned upside down, um, water bottles, uh, books, something that can support you. It'll go in between the thighs and you'll, you'll use it under your hands. Also, a pillow or a blanket can be helpful as well. So let's begin. Bring your knees, to get your knees wide and your big toes to touch. If this doesn't work for you, you can bring a pillow under your knees or in between your knees, something under your heels, or just lie flat on your belly instead. Go ahead and come down, settle your hips down. Arms can be out in front of you, relaxed, or by your sides, palms up, whatever feels good for you. Begin to just deepen your breath. Inhale, and exhale. Continue to breathe, and as you do, fill up the back of the body, especially the low to mid back. Feel it expanding out on the sides. Also feel your breath moving down into your low belly. Expanding out into the ribs. And just noticing how taking these deeper breaths might help to create a little bit more awareness, presence, and focus. Notice how that feels for you. Take three more breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. slowly bring yourself back up and then I'm going to just face you. You can sit on your heels, you can sit cross-legged or you can bring a block in between your feet if that feels better. Gather your hands to your heart and just bow into yourself. Right? And so as we move through this practice I just want you to consider as we use our breath to come into focus and awareness that there might be pieces of this practice that might feel a little uncomfortable might like bring up feelings. One of the things this practice of yoga can teach us is how to be with those feelings of discomfort, anxiety, pain, so that we can move through them with ease. And so I encourage you in any parts of this practice that might feel a little intense or uncomfortable to use your breath and honor your experience. Take a deep breath in, let it out. Coming into the sound of Om one time, inhale. Om. Your hands rest in your lap, take an open to mouth, inhale. Open to mouth, exhale. Inhale, exhale, close your mouth, engage that glottis still, it's the throat muscle that was engaging with your mouth opened, inhale, keep your mouth closed, getting that hushy ocean like ujjayi breath, continue to breathe in this way, and then you're going to bring yourself to downward facing dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide, so about mat width apart. Your pinkies might even come off the mat a little. Step back, come into your downward facing dog. You want a nice long stance. Press heavy through the inner edges of the hands as you widen the shoulders out. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back and just start to pump out through your legs, digging each heel towards the ground as you melt your heart back, pull your low belly in, and lift your hips off your shoulders. Breathe. Stay with that ujjayi breath. The breath will help you to start to navigate anything that might come up in this practice for you. Now find some stillness. Bring your inner thighs to the sky. Engage your kneecaps without locking the knees. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. From here, bend the knees and look forward. And then just take several steps to bring the feet to the hands. Grab your block or whatever you're using. 
as the block or rolled up towel works good here, and stick it between your inner upper thighs. Walk your hands six inches in front of your toes and all ten of those toes will lift. Lift the toes to accentuate your arch, arches and then root through the four edges of the feet. Squeeze the block with your thighs and roll it back without locking the knees. Pull the low belly in and relax your head. Breathe. And just feel the back of the legs opening. Let the head and the neck release. And then just stay here. Right, so what happens when we move out of that comfort zone, right? Beyond the comfort zone is where growth happens, where transformation happens, where understanding and learning tend to happen. So I encourage you just to explore that today in a short practice. Bend the knees, sweep the arms, knees are behind the toes, arms reach up, shoulders soften, belly pulls in. Stay here, breathe in. Sit a little deeper. This might be a little uncomfortable. Can you be with it? Can you use your breath and your focus? Can you be kind to yourself as opposed to judgmental? Take one more inhale. Exhale, dive forward and release the hands behind the back. Squeeze the elbows and shoulders together. Lift the arms without locking the elbows or wrists. Relax your head and buzz your lips. Inhale. Shake out your head. Keep going. Just let something go. One more. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms. Chair pose. Tongue out, eyes up, lion's breath. Now stand up, pointer finger steeple. So the pointer fingers look like this. You're gonna come up and over to a side stretch to the right. The left shoulder is gonna peel back as you pull in through your belly and just stretch here. Go a little deeper. Inhale, exhale. Rise up nice and tall and take it up and over to the left. Inhale, then sit. Take it deeper. One more inhale. Exhale. Rise nice and tall, fingers interlace. The thumbs stay connected as the palms flip. Lean back, soften the shoulders without locking the elbows. Pull the belly in, lean back more. Take an inhale. Dive forward on your exhale. Release your block or whatever you have. Touch your shins or the floor, pull the belly in, engage your quadriceps. And then go ahead and fold yourself forward. Inhale, rise, sweep the arms to the sky. Bring your hands to your heart. One hand comes to heart, the other to the belly. And then either close your eyes or fix your gaze. And inhale, breathe from your belly to your chest and up into your collarbones. Exhale from your collarbones to your chest and back down into your belly. Again, inhale, breathe from your belly to your chest and up into your collarbones. Exhale from your collarbones to your chest and back down into your belly. Do two more rounds of this three-part breath, breathing into the back and sides of the body as well as the front. Continue to stay with your cadence of breath as if you're not already, you come to the top of your mat. Feet are hip-width apart or together. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. It's okay to bend your knees here if you need to. Inhale, touch the shins of the floor, pull the belly in. Exhale, step back, come into plank pose. Spread the fingers wide. The knees can always be down here or they can stay lifted. Pull in through the belly, engage your upper back as you inhale. Exhale, lower halfway into chaturanga. The shoulders have to be up here and the elbows in or just come flat, whatever you need. Untuck the toes, inhale, come up into a cobra. You can stay lower into a baby cobra or even an upward facing dog with the knees lifted. Exhale, curl back, downward facing dog. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, look forward, walk, step, or float your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise tall, inhale. Hands to heart. Let's keep going. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold. Find your rhythm. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back, plank. Knees up or down. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga or flat. Inhale, cobra, shoulders peel back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. 
Soften through the shoulders, widen them as you press heavy through the inner edges of the hands. One more breath. Bend the knees, inhale. Exhale, walk, step, or float your feet to your hands. Halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart. Arms sweep. Fold. Halfway. Plank goes. Hold plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga or flat. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward on the inhale. Exhale, walk, step, or jump the feet to the hands. Halfway inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Hands to heart. This time, Sri Namaskar B. Bend the knees, knees behind the toes, sweep the arms for chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold into forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway, open through the chest. Exhale again, step back, plank pose. Hold plank on the inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra upward facing. Push it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, slowly lift your right leg to the sky, hips stay square. Exhale, step the right foot forward, turn your back foot flat, heel down. Hands come to the hips as you bend your right knee, draw your tailbone in, your shoulders back, and sweep the arms to the sky for Virabhadrasana 1, warrior 1. Just stay here, take a breath in. Press heavy through the outer edge of the back foot and turn that left hip forward. Take one more inhale. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. You can always go to down dog or go through your vinyasa. Bend your elbows. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts to the sky. Exhale, step it all the way through. Ground your back foot. Inhale, bring your hands to the hips as you bend your knees. Draw the shoulders back and pull the belly in. And then the arms reach to the sky for warrior one. Stay here, breathe in. Breathe out. Another inhale, stretch and reach. Exhale, either come to down dog or go through another vinyasa. Inhale, cobra upward facing. Take it back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Let it out your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, walk, step, or float your feet to your hands. Halfway. Full deep. Rise tall as you bend your knees for Utkatasana. And then exhale, hands to heart. Stay here. Take a big full breath in. And a big full breath out. Inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Halfway, inhale. One more vinyasa. Step back, plank. Hold plank on the end. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra upward facing. Take it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Go ahead and bend the knee and open up the hip. Keep that left shoulder lifted. Melt your heart. Stay here for three. Two. Take a big breath in. And then exhale, bring the knee to nose. Pull up through your belly. Hold for three. Two. And then on one, step the right foot forward. Ground your back foot flat. I am mirroring you here. Rise up for warrior two. Not one. Hmm. Left hip pulls back. Shoulders stack over hips. Belly pulls in. Knee is over the ankle. Hold here. Find that stability in your belly and stay. Find your focus. Bend deep into that thigh. This might feel a little uncomfortable. And it might not just be physical, right? We're getting into our hips here where we hold a lot of um, unprocessed emotion. Notice what's coming up for you. Two more breaths. Take a big full breath in. And then exhale, reach it back, radiant warrior. Keep bending into that front leg. Press heavy through the outer edge of the back foot. Toes are slightly turned in. Breathe. Take a big full breath in. Exhale, windmill the hands down. Go ahead and frame that front foot. Squeeze in through your thighs and twist the right arm to the sky. Breathe. Two more. Take a big breath in as you twist a little deeper. Now bring the top hand onto the hip. Plant your left hand down and then stack your feet for side plank. Arm can reach to the sky. 
You can stay here or your foot can come down. If you can see here, it's a kickstand. That can help as well. Otherwise, stack. Engage your upper back. Pull in through your belly for three. Draw your head back. Two, strong core. Take it in here. Bring your right hand down and then either down dog or chaturanga. Inhale, cobra for facing. Take it back, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift your left leg to the sky. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Drop that left shoulder a little. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two more. Take a big inhale. Bring that knee to nose. Pull up through your belly. Hold three, two, and then one. Step it through. So my back's going to be facing you for just a moment. Ground the back foot. Back toes turn in a little. Heel to arch alignment as you rise up for your warrior. Two. Pick up that front hip. Back hip pulls back a little. Shoulders over hips. Bend into that sensation in that thigh and breathe. Bend a little bit deeper, take a deep breath in, and take it back, Radiant Warrior. Reach back, inhale here, exhale, windmill the hands down, lift the back heel, go ahead and keep that knee right over your ankle, lift the left arm to the sky, squeeze through your thighs, breathe. Couple more here. Keep twisting. Keep that back thigh nice and high. Take a big breath in. Bring your front top hand to your hip. Round the other hand and either step back into a side plank or you can use a kickstand with the knee right over the ankle. I'm going to do this on this side. Pull in through the belly. Hold. Three. Ground through those fingers. Press into the thumb. Two. Take one more inhale. And then exhale. Go ahead and plant that hand down. And then step back and lower. Inhale, cobra upward facing. Take it back, downward facing dog. Stay here, breathe in. Let it out. Inhale. Sigh it out. Last one, inhale. Good. Bring your knees down to the ground. Go ahead and take a block and squeeze it in between your inner upper thighs. You can also use something else if you prefer, but squeeze to support the low back here. Take the fingers and face them up on the back. This helps to get the wrist stretch too. If that's too much, hands out to the side is fine. Use your thumbs to draw your tailbone down, roll your shoulders back, and then just curl open through your chest. So stay here to start, pulling the low belly in. Don't um, sink the hips here, so just opening the chest, squeezing the block, breathe. You can stay here. If you want to take it deeper, you're not going to reach one at a time because that can put um, undue pressure on your back. So you're going to lift and start to reach back with your upper body. Don't crank your neck. And then if you want to, strong core, you'll reach both hands. Don't sink the hips, right? Keep them up. And then you'll lean back. If it makes sense to curl back a little bit, you don't want to crunch the neck, right? So let the throat open without crunching. Hold for three. Two. Let's do a lion's breath. Inhale. Use your core. Pull the belly in as you come up. And then from here, slowly release. And just bring yourself to hands and knees and rock the hips from side to side. Good. And then from here, go ahead and come back to center. I'm going to face you here. And you're going to take your left leg out and cross your right leg over your left. Sit up tall. Take your right hand behind you and then the left arm up. Press through the inner edge of this right foot. Either wrap the arm around the knee or hook it and twist behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and come back to center, and then stack this right knee on top of the left. Keep the left leg straight and just fold forward and breathe. Knee pile pose. Don't worry about grabbing your foot here because that'll put pressure on your knee. So just breathe here into the hamstring. One more breath. 
slowly come up. Now you can stay here, or if you can, you'll tuck the underneath leg in, coming into cow face pose. If this is too much, keep the other leg straight. You're still gonna get a little bit of that hip. Lengthen, and once again, fold forward and breathe. Flexing through the feet, trying to stack out through the knees. All right, noticing you might feel a little discomfort here. What happens? Do you fidget? Does your mind race? Do you start to fantasize about things like the food you're going to eat later? What would happen if you just used your breath and your focus, your awareness, to breathe through it? Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Slowly come up and lean back. Bring the legs out and just do a quick swish rush from side to side. Come back to center with the right leg out and the left leg crosses over. Left hand behind and right arm reaches up. Hook or wrap and twist. That right hip pulls back. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. <clears throat> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Come back to center for knee pile pose. Stacking left on top of right. Flex the foot and just fold in for three breaths. Keep the spine lengthened. Stay right here for a couple more breaths or tuck it under. You want to stack the knees as much as you can. If this hurts your knee, just keep it extended. Flex the feet and then extend out and fold. You can also sit on something, sit, roll up a blanket and bring it under your butt. That can be helpful as well. And just breathe. Keep coming back to breath. Two more. Last one. Slowly roll up, lean back, extend your legs, and again, just a quick little swish wash from side to side. Come back to center and turn. Let your head face the way that you were facing most of the practice. Pull the belly in, ground the feet, reach the arms out, and slowly lower, just using your core for three, two, and then one. When you lower down, just pull your knees into the chest. You can grab your feet, keep your heels down or up for happy infant pose. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Last one. Release your feet, draw it in, and then extend out into Shavasana. Feel free to bring anything under your knees or your head for extra support. And just allow your body to soften onto the ground. Let go of any controlled breath, any need to do anything other than simply be here and breathe. Simply being exactly who you are in this moment. Shavasana.
Slowly begin to deepen your breath. Feel your breath in your body. Feel your body on the ground. And bring your hands onto what feels like center and take a breath here. Like any little wiggles or movements or stretches you need. I also encourage you to stay longer in Shavasana if you have the time. <clears throat> Otherwise, pull the knees into the chest and rock over to one side. Press from the ground and come up to sit. And gather your hands to your heart center. As you move through the rest of your day, consider how you can be with discomfort and move beyond at times your comfort zone into that space, that sweet spot of growth and transformation. Inhale for the sound of one ohm. Um. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you for joining me for Wellness on the Waterfront presented by Independent Blue Cross. Tune in to the DRWC Philly YouTube channel for more exclusive videos and follow on social media.